Hi, Paco. Thanks for being here today. Uh, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you very much uh, for inviting me to be in front of your camera here. And uh, I'm really glad that uh, I've come to France uh, for this 70th anniversary of the French Association. Nice. Um, could you briefly present your association? Yes, I'm coming from the uh, Macedonian HR Association, which doesn't have uh, such a long history and tradition like the French one. <laughs> sure. So our association was established uh, in 2009. Mm -hmm. More than 50 professionals gathered together in order to uh, establish the Macedonian HR Association. And uh, at that time, our aim was actually to gather the professionals that are working in HR, which is really a pretty young profession in Macedonia. Okay. And if you, if you could uh, describe your, your association, your young association, in, um, in three, three words, what would they be? Well, we've grown very fast. Uh, the interest is there. We've achieved really big results. So we have uh, doubled or uh, we have even more members, so up to 120. And uh, just for you to get um, uh, to imagine that Macedonia has only 2 million, uh, yeah. it's, it's one fifth of Paris probably. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, our association really grew fast and our activities uh, have been recognized not only among the Macedonian members, but also regionally and even uh, in European frames. Okay, and so what kind of uh, activities do you carry out in your association? Well, uh, I would say that, uh, first of all, we serve our members, and our members are the HR professionals. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do for them is actually we promote the uh, profession, mm -hmm in Macedonia and uh, we also help them um, uh, develop their own uh, skills in the profession. So we do kind of trainings, we do uh, experience exchange among them uh, in order to improve their professional, professional skills. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we are also uh, organizing a, a big annual conference which is uh, recognized uh, I would say in uh, regionally uh, this year it was end of uh, May and beginning of July it was a two-day conference and we had almost 300 participants uh, okay. from the region and uh, world-known um, uh, speakers uh, what we also do are some monthly meetings that we organize for our members. Uh, we call them HR Cafe, where they can uh, freely and uh, without special agenda come and uh, gather together, uh, discuss about many things. Usually we have one topic and uh, these uh, events are also very well recognized. So we really have some 60 to 90 people almost each month uh, on these events. Our uh, activities are also related uh, to our connections uh, with the European um, uh, Association as well as bilateral with uh, the associations from the European countries. Okay, and do you have, um, are you a member only from, from the private sector or do you work also with the public sector? Uh, actually, uh, the membership is it, it's a personal membership, mm -hmm. which means that the professionals who want to become our members pay their annual fee. Uh, but, you know, uh, most of them are coming from companies. Okay. So they are either HR managers or HR professionals, experts. Uh, some of them are coming uh, from the consultant uh, sector. Uh, some of them are coming from the universities. But we have also members from the public sector because within the public sector the demand for HR is also rising uh, okay. and the way to develop the public servants um, is uh, getting on importance nowadays. Mm -hmm. and 
And you said that the HR profession was quite young in your country. So do you think that the field of HR is taking a, a, a stronger role in Macedonia? Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, I would say that the HR in Macedonia uh, became popular once the foreign investors and the foreign bigger foreign companies uh, came and invested in Macedonia. So they have brought their knowledge and their systems. Uh, so uh, in, in these terms, uh, the, the profession was uh, on the rise uh, and the demand for, for HR professionals is growing because also the Macedonian companies want to catch up with this. So they establish their own departments, HR departments, and they recruit and they need uh, skilled uh, professionals uh, for HR. And so what are the, um, do you have any example of issue that your members are confronted with in, the, uh, in their work, in their job? Uh, yes, nowadays, uh, I think as well as in whole Europe, Uh, although Macedonia was several years ago a country with very high uh, unemployment, mm -hmm. I would say official unemployment, but uh, nowadays uh, the companies in Macedonia are really struggling to find, to attract and to recruit competent personnel. Mm -hmm. uh, so because of this, uh, actually the HR professionals really cope with the same things as uh, all the other HR professionals around Europe. Uh, the, the war for talent is uh, present as well, but uh, I think uh, one of the biggest challenges we have in Macedonia, and I think it's a, it's a world process and it's, a, it's a also the, the European professionals are involved in this, are the uh, HR standards. So it is very important to agree on, on uh, specific HR standards. And we, we think in our association we are supporting this process as well as with the ISO in organization, mm -hmm. as well as uh, within the Macedonian um, uh, standard uh, uh, yes, organization, organization mm -hmm. for, for international standards uh, to Uh, define the standards because they will be the basis of um, uh, uh, the required knowledge that an HR professional needs, has yeah. to has mm -hmm. needs to have in order to fulfill uh, uh, own tasks in a in an organization uh, okay. in a well manner. Okay, and if we if we come back. Um to the EAPM Congress. Uh, one of the, the subject matter being discussed here today is um, um, job, job quality and working life in Europe. And wha wha what is good work for you? Wha wha how how co could we improve uh, this, this job quality? Um, yes, uh, it's a very important question. And I've seen also the statistics that have been shown. Macedonia was on the map, so the survey has been done as well in, uh, mm -hmm. as, uh, in Macedonia. Uh, and in my point of view, the surveys usually are uh, focused on the acknowledged jobs. So uh, the, the statistics are made with uh, people who are officially in a job. Employed, yeah. But we've heard also the syndicate representative um, uh, who was talking also uh, for the ones that are not accepted. So there are many, many people who are outside of this system And, and the surveys are usually not taking in count uh, this kind of these shop. people. Yeah. Uh, and therefore, uh, in my point of view, as we are talking of Macedonia, I would say that um, uh, the ones, the, the people that are within the system uh, of, of the bigger organizations, of the public institutions, they, I would say they enjoy the um, uh, possibility to have a decent job. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there is a certain amount of uh, workers, of employees that are maybe in the gray, gray zone uh, who uh, cannot say that uh, they really uh, have uh, decent jobs. 
and uh, I think uh, our role is also to include these people within the system uh, where the quality of job will play um, a major role for them further motivation and uh, to raise the, the productivity because at the end of the day I think uh, we are all uh, looking uh, to, to get better mm -hmm. and uh, for the Macedonian economy it is very important uh, because it will help the companies become more competitive uh, in regional and, and global terms. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you for your participation. Thank you. And for have your a good invitation. time in Paris. Thank, Thank you, you very much.